Vicario. Um, over on the left corner, well, over on the left corner, we have Heito, who is a Falcon player. On the right corner, we have Kurosu Igarashi, who is a pretty well-known Lucario player. Um, I don't know how well you know either of these players, Kelvin. Not, Not much? I, I, I'm kind of aware of Heito's song. Okay, um, well, that's good, because I know Kurosu Igarashi. Okay. Uh, this guy, uh, I think I got told by Daisuke-san that um, Kurosu Igarashi, apparently, he was, like, involved in Pukke. Oh, before he came to Smash recently, and he started investing. It's I, I think he. I, I don't know if he was a Lucario main in Pokémon. Okay. But, uh, he he plays Lucario. Um, there was another character that I know he plays, but I forgot what what it was for the moment. I've actually played this guy in Bracket like a couple months back, and he really? absolutely destroyed me. <laughs> he destroyed you. Wow. Yeah. He, yeah. 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 He he uh, he knows the Mimim matchup very well. That's. Mimim versus Lucario say. does not sound fun, but... Yeah, Falco... Although, Falco also seems pretty tough for Lucario, I'm saying, because of the yeah. reflect, I guess, even a high aura. I, I'm guessing that Falco can literally just play the waiting game. The, one, the uh, one good thing about Falco in this matchup is the fact that it can... um From the beginning, it can build up so much percentage, and also towards, like, the later half of, like, you know, towards, like, from 80%, like, high percentage, she also has a very consistent kill option. Yeah. They really... um So, it's all about whether... Uh, Kurosu, you got a song can really hold on to a stock. Yeah, that's true, and uh, not like that, because Hedra has just taken the lead. But the thing about this matchup, from what it seems, is Falco, once uh, he gets the combos going, he can take Lucario straight to 60, and that's all the aura that uh, Lucario needs to, like, yeah. you know, get going. So, uh, we'll see how well it goes for Hedra over here, who seems to be in a considerable so lead. He is in a considerable lead against Lucario, but don't we, we should never sleep against. You should never sleep on Lucario. Obviously. Never, ever. Especially this guy, because I've seen uh, Misty Valashi make so many comebacks in the mm. past. He's really like. Um, what was it? Heito song? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. like he lost the stock there, but he's really making use of the fact that um, Lucario is a very floaty character, so it takes quite long for it to like land on stage. So he's using a lot of side B to catch his landing, and plus um, using a lot of reflector in this matchup. Falco having one of the fastest ref reflector in this game, frame one, really does help in this matchup. Frame one. You know your stuff. All right. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. What can I by say? By the way. Uh, yeah, like you said, Kurosu Igarashi, I was about to say, was steadily making a comeback, but that up smash is do, uh, gonna be doing wonders for Heijo for this game, who now gets to avoid Max Rage Lucario mm -hmm. for another time. Yeah. And unfortunately, even if Lucario has to stock uh, the aura from, like, you know, being under, like, under, being, being under, like, a stock uh -huh. lead, um, just being at low percentage with Lucario is not that good, you know. Like he really has to hold on to it. Like this is the part where we really get to see if um Igarashi will actually like be on the equal footing with Falco or he will just, you know, lose here unfortunately. One of my favorite things about Lucario, about playing Lucario, about watching Lucario, mm -hmm. is like the low level combos that Lucario players seem to know. <laughs> Some of them are so funny. Like like, Kurosu Ikaraji right now, say, say he was at low percent right now. Okay. Falco could be at like 100% or something. Yeah. Lucario could hit like a five piece true combo and it will do like 20%. 20%? Okay. On some like chic stuff, you know? Oh wow, that backer is really strong, isn't it? Back throw, yeah. Back throw is gonna be able to uh, take Hitchell's second stock. Uh, still a little bit to do for Kurosu Ikaraji almost. Dying to the back air. Heitro with the with a ballsy read right there. Yeah, trying to I, go for the up smash I, I, I right think there. it's gonna be back air first from Heitro for a bit here. Yeah. Cross is also. doing a really good job of DIing that uh, up tilt because um if he DIs more toward more vertically or more in, then he'll get hit by either back air or up air. He's probably gonna have to start worrying about uh uh down tilt as well yeah. at this percent. Like landing. Oh! oh! He was so confident with that. He, he could have so just down confident. tilted. He could have done other moves, but. I was expecting enough. more of a side B into like aerial side B into like a follow up up air, but that did, was. Die! That took the game, you know? <laughs> he died, you know? He died for that. Damn! I okay. didn't know you fell that way. Ooh. All right, well, Hitch was taking game one. Uh, let's see what Cross Ijigarashi uh, decides to go with. What's Hedro looking at? He has his. I thought I thought it was the matchup chart for a second, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> the matchup chart. <laughs> yeah, we never know what cross. Uh, the, uh, an Excel sheet full of you know matchup like you know matchup checks. Uh. He looks like a guy that you know would be educated on 
his character. You yeah, know, he probably knows everything about Falco. Everyone in this like venue right now is probably like knowledgeable about a lot of matches, but you know, I'm making the assumption based off the glasses. By the way, I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stand guy. One thing that I'm surprised though is that Heichiro san was very like um, knowledgeable with the Lucario matchup. I guess like um, I don't know how act how active he was, like how for how long mm. he was active for, but um, he seemed to be a really aware of the Lucario matchup uh, as opposed to like Cross Igarashi was obviously like suffering from the Falco matchup. What parts? Like anything specific or just in general? Just he in general, like Heichiro san was like you making like like. We just knew what Lucario was good at and just giving, like, you know, was yeah, not giving him any time. And stuff. Yeah, I get what you mean. I think we're gonna get into our second game soon. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the characters are. Sticking to the Lucario for Mr. Cross Igarashi. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go into game two. Uh, by the way, it, it says best of five. Some of us are usually always a best of three. Is it a best of five? Best, best of three. three. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Okay, uh, so ignore what it says here, where it says best of five, because it's uh, going to yeah. be a best of three. Some of us, uh, locals in Tokyo, I don't know how uh, well you guys know the Tokyo scene here, but almost all the locals in Tokyo are best of threes, right yeah. until grand finals. Like, even grand finals, even grand finals reset will usually be a best of three. So games go by quickly, and you get to see a load of different uh, players on stream. Players really have to so know, adapt. Mm -hmm. Players really have to adapt, like in that quickly. First huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Asia, by the way, go for the wall jump the, side B into the back air. The follow up from that side B. Yeah. Oh, you can't really tell. He's wasting no time, uh, getting ahead, and uh, Cross Igarashi is gonna have to make the most out of Aura yet again. Oh He's my gonna take God. a lot of up airs here. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Which oh, that uh, killed? The, re the reversal from the double jump back air right there. Right. Okay. Interesting. Hatcher's really trying to like catch his double jump. Yeah. I like that. Hatcher seems to be getting a lot of roll reads though. He's kind of all over him at the moment, but Crossing Garage is getting a couple forward as in. I think he's really confident about like him being able to just react to the roll because he has that side B as, as we said before. Mm -hmm. That's damage though. That is. This is where Cross Igarashi is gonna start getting scary. It is getting. Once he recovers onto the ledge anyway, that was an aggressive option. Oh, he was waiting. Heichiro was waiting for that. Dash attack is a really quick option from Lucario, the more that I look at it. It, it also, it's also one of the more um, long range moves if you think about when you're um, with or without aura because he stretches by it because when you the moment yeah. you dash attack it will stretch like it will stretch his hitbox a bit more yeah i'm guessing it's one of the fairly less punishable dash attacks in the game as well, yeah just because of that i would say this is even right now in percentage yeah hey you're looking for so many different uh kill moves okay Crossing gets onto the with stage the with the really doing him a favor right here oh, and wow, then you go through the town smash fair enough Oh Jeez. man. Look where Max Aura can take you. Lucario mains really do high, high risk, high risk, high reward options, don't they? Just the second half of that game was just staple Lucario gameplay. Just I what think you want to see from Lucario. It really game. was. But now they're at now they're at um game three. I wonder what stage they're gonna go to, what stage um Cross Igarashi is gonna ban and what stage Heisho is gonna take. Platforms? <laughs> and no, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> Platforms. But a lot of that was FT, right? We just watched FT. We just look. No, we just watched Town and City. Oh, it was Town. It, it, technically, FT. I have you a know, terrible it. memory. <laughs> Goldfish memory coming in. I, I think both of them checking the you know the matchup chart really helped them. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Let's see if now that we are at game three, let's see um, if both players are ready to you know exploit on um, both characters' weakness and. You know, their players players have it, I guess. Game three coming through. What stage did they just... Hollow Bastion, Hollow Bastion. okay. Right. A little wider, th not a little, a lot wider than um, Smashville, but I, yeah. do, I really don't know how this will go. I mean, how big, do you remember how big uh, Hollow Bastion is off the top? Off the I think that's one of the few stages that I remember. 
Ooh. Maybe Chad can help me out. I, I, I can't really see Chad at the moment. But like, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna pull up Chad. Yeah, Chad knows a lot. <laughs> you know? This is why Chad would be very useful. Um, Borrow their wisdom, is what I'll say. Yeah. But uh, by the way, as expected, uh, Hedgel pulling up with a bit of a lead. That's a strong S smash coming in from Crossy Garashi, but nowhere near death. Is the that back air? Reflector. Oh, there. oh. Hedgel's follow ups Ooh. from the side B. Hedgel's follow up from the side B and there. Just like, and his one of, like, I think, like, going into this set and just, like, you know, like, looking at, like, the past two games, I think what really defined Hedgel's playstyle as Falco is that he's really aggressive and not, like, Afraid to take high risk, high risk, high reward options uh -huh. at, from ledge. He's really looking to, you know, get these stocks early because he knows the longer Lucario stays at high percentage, he can die any time. Yeah, like this is where Cross Igarashi is definitely the most dangerous. Something that I've noticed that's really interesting is that Hedro likes to kind of chill in the middle plat. Whoa! Oh that's my! Hedro likes to chill in the middle platform and just drop down with a back air when the time is right. Which, and uh, obviously there's also these like crazy up smashes that you yeah. can well. Oh, that down air. That lingering. Oh up. no, this Where is, is a go? little worrying. Is he good? Ooh, He's good. You managed to grab the ledge uh -oh. right away. Whoa, this is really scary. This is this is scary, scary Lucario stuff right now. Lucario's hitboxes that... do get larger as like he builds up percentage. So let's see like how this will go. Oh, with the really him. greedy down B right there. Uh -huh. H Cross Igarashi is really looking to take this stock, and now or we have a to the face. We now have a two stock lead. Ah, uh, as I said, that commentator's curse kicks in, and you know takes the stock. Two right. one. Well, yeah. Now Hecho can have a bit of a breather just because of uh, the aura disappearing, and now he can really rack the damage in without suffering too oh much consequence. God, he's alive. He's dead. He's dead. That was really good. Uh, uh, up the angle, by the way. That was a good did angle. You, did you clock that? That yeah. was really... He just Cross, avoided Crossy Garashi. Was just trying to, like... That was, was actually <laughs> sick for him, though. Crossy Garashi was really looking to, like, just get hit by that Falco up the... Yeah, he knew what he was thinking. And look at this. Hedro in the lead now, all of a sudden. You really don't know what, like... You really don't know what's you gonna really happen. You really don't know what's gonna happen in Lucario games. In Lucario. You it really don't really know. Hurt. It could go either way, huh? Yeah. Alright, and we're back to a fairly even game. Crossy Garachi probably hitting... Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> that was, that was, whoa! whoa he had to pull there. Hedro trying to go for the forward... Uh, um, what's it called? Fast forward. But no extension. What's the option here? Hedro probably gonna start throwing out the back airs right now. Yeah. Up smash also coming through. Again, like I said, from the middle platform, that's that. Goes, for the, back greedy, air. goes for the greedy F smash in the middle of the stage. Really showing you how no much pressure Pedro was putting in. Oh my Ooh, gosh. I thought he was going to read the roll away right. again, but it's the back air that's going to yeah. take it. Unexpected. And Drop down back here. Again, yeah. As we said it. Yet again. Pedro taking the very close set. Making the comeback. Yeah. So, congrats to Pedro and props to Cross Igarashi for pulling off that amazing Lucario show. He just came a little short to oh. Falco's, like, Hecho's Falco comeback. I mean, Heicho, especially with uh, the combos that were coming in uh, during some of the points in that game, it just kind of reminds you how frustrating it can sometimes be to fight Lucario, you know? Really? Eyes is a scary character. But Heicho really didn't give up until